Hi there YouTube, this is uh, my extended walkthrough of the basement and I've just been making some changes to it over the summer. As you can see here, this is Step Mania running off of a 47 inch plasma TV and it now caters about 400 songs and as you can see a lot of the newer songs now are set up with the music videos running in the background which is pretty cool. Uh, here we have the video corner and this is right now it's all just mid 90s games that's the theme for this video. Uh, again it's a time when consoles were kind of taking over and I really this to me is a uh, like I never really got to arcades out this time or when I did it was just passing through at the snooker or uh, you know the pool halls the bowling alleys I didn't really go to arcades so and this is uh, the main uh, Radmobile cabinet that I had set up and I have this uh, kind of a shakedown in an earlier video uh, it's right now setting up uh, set up for Street Fighter Third Strike and uh, I'll get into that a little bit later with the front end and the different stuff I have going on with that. This is a trick monster, trick slot, patchy slot, patchy slot machine. And in looking up some stuff on this online, I found that it was actually made into a, vi a video game for the PlayStation. And I find it so weird that someone would take something like a patchy slot and turn it into a video game. But anyway, that's Japan. This is a foosball table again just a recreational foosball table from a garage sale I picked up one of the favorite games I remember playing a lot when I was younger and mainly on the Genesis my neighbor's Genesis was NBA Jam and I think it was one of the first games I noticed where the sprites and everything had really changed when it came from the arcade into people's homes this one it is full arcade hardware with a 25 inch CRT and complete with custom operator messages as you can see there and it's all set up for coin play in an HS5 cabinet one of the cleanest dynamo cabinets I've ever seen with absolutely no trace of water damage weird funky smells odors or anything like that uh, this is a Neo Geo cab which I picked up and actually was the total opposite of the dynamo one I, when I first picked it up uh, it was only 60 bucks but it had all kinds of weird smells and a piece of it was missing which I reset. Right now it's a Dell 21 inch CRT. It's one of those funky flat CRTs so it's kind of, it's a VGA for sure and I have it plugged into a 521 Pandora's Box 3 and that just allows for some of the flexibility just you know having a ton of games in one cab uh, unfortunately, I have to re-drill out the control panel. So sorry, guys, that are all into the, you know, to the dedicated machines. I ha I don't have a single one of those, unfortunately. This is a Time Crisis dual setup that I had, and I, I kind of built this up with two TVs, two identical CRT, 27-inch CRTs, and I went on a hunt and I got recoil guns for it, shipped from Amazon.uk, as well as I think one auction on eBay. Uh, this is really cool because the visceral feel of it with the screen flashing in sync with the gun recoil is absolutely incredible and not only that, the game quality, it can all be controlled with the gun, you don't need to pick up a controller at all and they all have a fantastic uh, attract mode in those games. Uh, a cruising cab that I picked up for free actually from Sergio on the CGCC forums, he was getting rid of it. Uh, right now it's housing a 27 inch CRT with a PS3 with S video input and it has a GT Force steering wheel with, complete with the force feedback. Uh, and this really brings those racing games alive. You can have the force feedback with Daytona. Uh, it's actually stocked with a, a bunch of drivers on here. With that, I'm just going to wrap it up right here. Now I have some bonus footage included at the end that I mixed in some sounds and a little bit of editing just to give it that authentic arcade feel from the 90s. Hope you enjoy.